Hello everyone, welcome to Simicraft Gaming First Looks, your premier destination for quality assessments of recent Steam releases. I'm Simicraft, and today we are looking at Shadow Hand. I don't know much about this game going into it, it kinda looked vaguely appealing and vaguely unique, so let's take a look and see if it uh, is actually good. Let's start. I also did get, uh, I did receive a key for this game from uh, the company. But I will be sure to not let that influence years my opinion. Ago, when I was a young woman, I lived in a wild, lawless corner of England, far removed from London. Highwaymen and footpads robbed travellers with impunity. Smugglers plied their trade in contraband from France. And corruption festered behind a thin veneer of respectability. I lived as the Lady of Darkmoor Hall with my dear companion, Mariah. One night, we set out in secret for a potentially scandalous assignation. But disaster struck. A highwayman pounced and murdered our coachman. Desperate, I struggled free from the wreckage. Mariah was gone. Fearing recognition, I disguised myself with some of the coachman's clothes and gave chase. And so began my nocturnal adventures as the Highway Woman, Shadow Hand. Ooh, nice name drop there. Okay, already I'm liking this theme. This is, uh, I, I know, I, I've got kind of a soft spot for uh, Victorian era or medieval or whatever. Kind of nobility as a theme. Certainly seems to have a good length, 22 chapters. That we can see is it's possible there's more, I don't know. And we're playing on normal mode because relaxed. I'm not going very hard and relaxed, just seems like it might be kind of wimping out. So. To Fleetwood Lane, in which Lady Cornelia Darkmoor finds herself alone in the woods. And presumably also finds herself in, in a tutorial because I don't know how to play this game. Aw, oh, it's not fully voice acted. Oh well, oh well. That's fine. Damn that highwayman! I've lost my carriage and my friend. What else will befall me this ill fated night? Halt! Who goes there? I am a gentlewoman in trouble, sir. Pray identify yourself. I must know with whom I speak before I bring you into my confidence. Madam, my name is Lord Fleetwood, and I own these woods and other lands hereabouts. I assure you that I will assist you in any manner you desire. Your coach is in a sorry state. What is your requirement? A clean cloak? A fresh carriage? Lord Fleetwood, I thank you most sincerely. I am Lady Cornelia Darkmoor. I need neither cloak nor carriage, but I would have your pistol. My companion and I were ambushed, and now she is gone. I fear for her safety. I must find her. I must impose upon you to keep our meeting here a secret. The situation is delicate. Very well. I see from your determination that we should take one pistol apiece and scour the woods for your friend. I am in your debt. Now I must take my leave. There is no time to lose. My missing companion is named Mariah. She has ebony hair and a blue gown. I'm glad to be of service, Lady Cornelia. I will do what I can to help. Farewell. We got Fleetwood's pistol. Shoots for five base damage, whatever that means. Oh yeah. It's got four, four charge. It almost looks like a Magic the Gathering card. Ooh, speaking of cards, uh, we should equip the pistol, presumably. Although the arrow was pointing to the play button, but I'm just a rebel like that. Uh, Alright, we already have it equipped. Okay. Thank you, game. Wow, there's a lot of, like, character customization. Looks like you can, uh... Looks like you've got hat, cloak, shirt, belt, pants, boots, ankle protectors, Corsets, face things, and eye things. Wow. And then gear, weapons, for both hands, abilities. So there's a lot of character customization here. Oh, there's even, like, stat points? Wow, this game is in-depth. Or at least appears to be. Alright, let's play. Try to remove as many cards as possible. 
The basics. Click on a card, one number, higher or lower than the card at the bottom of the screen. Like this card. Great. Okay, cool. Then we'll go for the four, then the five, then the four. Draw a stock card. There are no more playable cards, so you need to draw a new card from the stockpile. This almost seems like uh, zero can go on a nine and vice versa. Okay, great. Um, eight, seven, six, five. Combo started. You started a combo playing six cards in a row. Combos boost your gold multiplier, so keep them going for more gold. Click end combo when you need to draw a new card from the stockpile. Now, it's been a while since I've played it, but this does seem quite similar to Solitaire. And I do have a personal policy of, generally speaking, avoiding covering games that have Solitaire anywhere in the title. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Great. Uh, we'll see what uh, spin this puts on, because, I mean, there's all this gear and stuff. There's gotta be some kind of spin, right? Curse my bravado. I should have kept Fleetwood at my side. The woods are teeming with poachers and footpads. <sighs> there's someone about to rob me. I know it. Okay, okay, so we've got diff- okay. Versus. Alright, let's duel. Defeat the enemy with your pistol. Charge your pistol by removing cards. Alright, so we've got an 8. We'll go for a 9. Which 9, though? Uh, this one opens up more possibilities in the future. 9. 0. 9. 0. Fire pistol. Click... Okay, so we'll fire. Great. Okay. Oh, did he just have a go? Alright, now it's four. Five. Four. Three. Two. Fire that pistol. Alright. Is there any advantage to going for, like, more if I have the ability to? So, eight, nine. Zero. Nine. Eight. Fire that pistol. Okay, well, we've got some combat now. Interesting. Yay, we defeated the boss. We... What loot did we get? We got 20 gold and the rogue's knife. Melee weapon stab for 4 base damage and 20% chance to pierce defense. This rogue shiv has seen many innocents met with short, sharp demise. Alright, we'll be sure to equip that, presuming the game has it automatically equipped it. No, okay, this is how we're learning to equip things. Boom. Pistol and a dagger. Knife. Is it a knife? Is it... Alright, it's a knife. Okay. It would be wise to keep your true identity hidden so you can pass among the common folk and the criminals. Disguise yourself with this mask and use the outlaw name, Shadowhand. Loot! Yeah! Shadow Hand. Active ability. Shuffles playfield cards. Plus f stealth. Okay. And uh, healing elixir. Okay, cool. Ooh, I've got a mask. Collect five stars. Defeat the chapter boss. Okay. Let's play. Alright, use this active ability to shuffle the playfield cards. It rearranges as you play. Or recharges as you play. Uh, we don't need to right now, though. So, seven, uh, six, five, six. Uh, we could go to a seven if we want. Yeah. Okay, cool. Eight. That does not match anything. Seven. Zero. Alright, sure, sure. One. Zero. We can get this key over here. Okay, that's a six. Uh, I don't think we can do anything else with this zero. Uh, I've got a six, seven. Six, five. Four. Three. Two. We got a combo. Nice, nice. Uh, and then we can go for another three. Uh, we don't have another two for one. Oh well. End the combo. 
Alright, zero. Hurry, you must leave now. Patrolling soldiers are on the lookout for outlaws, and you have stolen a horse. Do not trust them, Shadow Hand. Uh, Alright, a foot soldier. We will duel. Defeat enemies faster to earn more stars. Great. Jewel. Alright, we have a two. Which can do absolutely nothing. Great. We have an eight that we can use. Actually, yeah, we'll use that. Eight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. Great, and then we'll use the knife. Ha! Get stabbed. Alright, four. Three. Uh, we'll just use the gun now, I guess. Well, we can get rid of the two. Yeah, let's do that as well. Then we can get this. Okay. <laughs> just. Okay. Uh, we'll use the flashy blunderbuss. Great. Alright, five, six, seven, and that'll be all, but that's fine, we'll just use the knife. Always be attacking. Oi. Rude. Alright, we got a six. Uh, we could try the stallion. That might help. We'll try. Didn't help. Yeah, if we can uh, charge up the blunderbuss, zero, one, then I think we win. Blunderbuss! Haha! -ha! Victory! Three stars all around. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, we got uh, the soldier sword. Alright, slice for six base damage. It's uh, charge is a 4-4. Four, four. That actually looks pretty good. It doesn't have a chance to stun, but that's quite good. Okay, okay, cool. Well fought, Shadowhand. Can I offer you a new ability to enhance your disguise before you go? This hand amulet will surely prove useful. One card fewer needed to start combat. That sounds great. Boom. Perfect. Alright. We need to spend some more stuff. What, what does insight do? Start? We'll, we'll get some insight, sure. Alright. Uh, so, it seems to me that the... Now, granted, it doesn't have the chance to stun, but it has so much quicker of a charge that the soldier's sword just kind of seems better than the blunderbuss, honestly. It just makes sense. Like, it wants to give you more powerful stuff as things go on. Oh, that's the shop. We can shop for stuff, apparently, which we do have money. Uh, so we can get more luck. 20% chance to resist bleeding. It also provides a defense. Plus one guile. Uh, we, we'll, we'll buy that, sure. Alright. Great. Uh, we already have some gear. Okay. Alright, I'm happy with our current position here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Smuggler's Bay, in which brigands are discovered landing their contraband. Off we go then. Smugglers, it is almost dawn. I'm surprised they're still landing their cargo. This seems like a dangerous place to be. Why on earth would Mariah come here? What have we here? A spy surveilling my business operation? Uh, no, sir. You're, you're mistaken. Your business is of no interest to me. I don't like the cut of your jib. What you doing heading to a masquerade or holding up the next stagecoach? Uh, neither. I warn that there are soldiers abroad. Neither of us want to be seen. You do not to win my trust, stranger, but I thank you for the tip-off about the soldiers. Now be gone, and don't interfere with my crew. I can't leave yet. I must find Mariah, and I'll keep my eyes open for useful items on the beach. Alright. 
Find a grog bomb. Collect seven stars. Defeat the chapter boss. Whoa, there's five parts here. Okay. So we got a joker. Okay. That's nice. Let's play. Alright, five. Right, so we're starting with a three. We'll go two. Zero. Right, we need a one before we can go for zero. Okay. Well, that's all we can do. Five. Six. Lock. Uh, five. Oh, another one. Key. That's great. We can grab a joker as well. Um, we can grab that four, and then the five, and then a whole lot of nothing. Nice. Four, and then a whole lot of nothing. Great. Seven. Okay. Two. Okay. Eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. Oh, we got the grog. You can throw this grog bomb in duels. Try it out on the next enemy. Okay, I'll consider it. Uh, nine. Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh, that's enough for now. Go for the five, though. You start an attack bonus by playing six cards in a row. Oh! Uh, I wish I knew about that before. Alright, that's the end of the attack bonus, though. Yeah, definitely the end. Soldier Sword! Aha! Ooh. We don't want the Cutlass to hit us. That's nasty. Alright, three, two, one. Uh. Zero. Stab. Okay, cool. Six. Five. And that is literally it. Oh, we should try the bomb. Aye. That's rude. Scorch opponents with five unblockable fire damage, plus attack bonus. Ooh. Sounds fun. Zero. Horses. Not the ones I want to destroy. Oh well. Okay. We'll, we'll try the Grog Bomb. Although we've completely used up the Grog Bomb, so I'm kind of regretting that now. Okay, cool. Did I get... Oh, I'm bleeding. Darn. Do you want... I have something painful to confess. I never meant to hurt your feelings, but I secretly, pl secretly planned to run away from Darkmoor Hall for good. My rendezvous last night was actually with the captain, not my amorous correspondent. I was told to come alone. I wish you hadn't insisted on chaperoning me. Heaven knows how I thought I'd give you the slip, but the unexpected holdup provided an opportunity, so I started running. Mariah, this is madness! I can't believe you lied to me! Why would you do this? I just wanted you to come home to Darkmoor Hall. No, I can't. I'm going to sail away, taking my shameful secrets with me. And the blame. I only want your happiness, please believe me. Here, take this ring to remember me by. I'm sorry, but I really must go. Briah, I still don't understand. Wait! And I could have jokered, but uh, I didn't want to. Okay, seven. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Zero. Nine. Zero. One. Two. Key. Unlock. Ah, uh, that's all. Oh well. We'll go for the blunderbuss. Great. At one. Two. Well, that's it. We can sort him though. We got a joker. I don't really appreciate jokers. Alright, three, four, five.
The grog would be an instant. Grog. Grog, ah, uh, okay. At least grog. Boom! Victory! Haha! <laughs> the tide's in your favor today, landlubber. I yield! I do not have a good pirate voice. Alright, that was a pretty good thing. Sailor's Cutlass. Slash for 8 base damage and 25% chance to cause bleeding. Play an 8 card to charge instantly. Ooh. Okay, some gold, obviously. And a grog bomb. Nice. It's over. You go. Mariah stays. It's all for nothing. She will do as she pleases anyway. Don't try to talk me out of it. You don't know the full story. Bad things have been going on at Darkmoor Hall, Lady Cornelia. But Mariah, no matter what's happened, I want to help. I don't think you can, but I promise to send word once I am safely away. Farewell, my lady, and be careful. It's hard to know who to trust. Ah, oh, Lady Cornelia, I trust you found your missing friend? I have more useful equipment than when we last met. This sea service pistol, for instance, a naval necessity. Ooh, a sea service pistol. Okay, okay. Ooh, we can get some character stuff. Let's grab some more finesse and some more insight, because they both look pretty cool. Oh. Unused gear slots. Okay, we'll equip that gear. Great. Uh, there's possible outfit stuff to buy, but whatever. Ah, the masquerade ball is next, apparently. Alright, though. That will conclude our first look here at Shadowhand. Uh, so what do I think of Shadowhand? So on Steam it generally goes for fifteen dollars, and uh, I think this one—it's a very good quality solitaire style game. Uh, like if you are in the market for a solitaire style game, this one is certainly one that I would recommend looking at. But ultimately, I'd say this—this uh, this one comes down to preference. If a solitaire style game is something you would genuinely be interested in. $15 seems like a reasonable price for this one. I mean, like, like we can see here, these th these chapters are only getting longer, and there's 22 of them. It's got a fairly nice little storyline going on with it as well that uh, kind of sets it a bit above some other puzzle games that just kind of have it at you. There's also the character aspect, of course, which is all of the... Uh, customization which I could see people definitely getting into and yeah it is definitely a very high quality as far as I'm aware at least this seems to me to be a high quality solitaire style game with more than enough content to potentially justify that price point. can't tell exactly how much I I'm not certain if the chapters keep getting longer if they stay roughly the same length and it uh, puts enough of a unique spin on the whole solitaire concept that I'd say it's definitely worth a look if you're into that sort of thing. Again, I mean, if you have no interest in a solitaire style game, then this probably isn't going to change your mind. But if 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 what you've seen here intrigues you, then I'd say fifteen dollars is a reasonable price for Shadow Hand. Uh, and of course, if it's on sale, then it's a better deal. So. Yeah, that's, that's Shadowhand for you. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, that has been a first look at Shadowhand, and I'm very much looking forward to you, uh, to, I'm very much looking forward to having some more first looks going forward here on Simicraft Gaming First Looks. Be sure to check out any of the other first looks right here on this channel, and check out my main uh, Let's Play channel where there's some kind of longer form series going on. But until next time, I've been Simicraft, and I will catch you in the next first look. Goodbye.